All right, how's it going, y'all? Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a B site on AWS LightSail for testing, and it is really incredibly easy. So if you're hosting a website, you probably don't want to be testing out new features on the live site because that's just asking for trouble. If anything breaks, your main site is broken for all of your users, which is not good for your search engine optimization or for your users. So the way you get around this is having what's called an A site and a B site. Your A site is your real site. It is the one that's hosting everything. It is what everybody comes to. Then you create a B site and that B site is just for testing. You can do anything in that site as a sandbox, test it out, make sure it all works and then apply it to your A site. And if you're hosting in AWS LightSail, it's incredibly easy and cheap to do. Instead of having to buy a whole new web server just for testing this B site, what you can do is you can spin up an instance for 10 hours and then just pay that fraction of a month that you had the B site spun up. It's a really cost efficient way to make sure that your site has high uptime and that you get the best features possible in your site. And so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is log into your LightSail distribution. So right now we can see the two different Space Rexes. There's Space Rex 1, my actual website, and there, there's Space Rex Tutorial, in which I'm demoing a bunch of tutorials in. And so right now, I want to test some of the features out on Space Rex, the actual website. So what we're going to want to do is clone the site and create a B site with it. And it's really easy to do. Just click on it, and we're going to go into Snapshots. And so now, we're going to want to create a manual snapshot. We'll just call it Clone because it's what we're cloning from. And snapshots can take sometimes a few minutes to create. All right, and so now that snapshot's finally done. And so it's really easy. All we have to do is click these three dots right here and go create new instance. We'll just leave it in the same instance location and do the cheapest possible one. We'll name it Space Rex B site and just create it. All right, and so now the Space Rex B site has spun up and we don't even have to assign it a static IP address because it's just gonna be for testing. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your computer thinks that this B site is your actual website. And so that's really easy to do. I'm gonna be demoing this on a Mac but you can also do this on PC and Linux incredibly easily. Just Google change hosts file and your operating system. So right now it's got this IP address that it might be subject to change in the future, but it's going to stay the same for long enough that we don't really care. Now, if you're going to be keeping this a persistent B site, you may as well throw a static IP address on there, but for just doing one or two tests, you don't have to. So copy the IP address, and then you're going to go into terminal on a Mac. And so what we're going to want to do is actually change our hosts file. So we're going to type sudo nano etc slash hosts. And this is going to edit the hosts file. So make sure not to change these first three rows, because if you do, it could really screw up how your computer boots. So the way the hosts file works is it basically looks at anything you write right here. And anytime it sees that typed in, in an IP address setting, it converts it to whatever is on the left. And so we're going to be doing this with just IP four, which is easy as can be. So just paste in that IP address and now type in the domain name of your site. So now anytime I type in www.spacerex.co, my computer behind the scenes is actually just going to route me to this IP address right here, which is the IP address of that test server. And now to save it, do control X to exit, Y to save it, enter to write it. And just like that, we will now go to the B site instead of the A site when we type in www.spacerex.co. So let's try that now. And so now we should be on the B site, but it's always good just kind of check and make sure. So what I like to do is I like to actually just take a page and just do add new. 
we'll just call it test and save it as a draft. And so then I go into my phone or another computer and I just make sure that this test page did not get added. And so as you can see right there, it is not on this WordPress site, which is my live WordPress site, but it is on my test site. And so just like that, we now have a site that we can do any edits we would like to, and it will not affect the main site. The one thing to note, it'll still draw traffic from any external sites you have. So if you're getting stats from something like Jetpack, every time you click on a page, it'll still register as a page view, even though it's on your B site. You can disable that by going into Jetpack and calling it a test site. And so now just make any modifications you'd like. Try new things, see how it looks. So then once you're done and you know what you'd like to do, you can really easily just recreate those changes on your A site, which is probably the easiest way of doing it. That way you don't have to worry about migrating databases over or anything like that. Then if you're doing it in a theme, you could easily just copy the theme from one instance to the other instance. And so it's all really easy to do. I would highly recommend setting this up, but don't forget, once you're done, you need to go back into terminal and edit the same page again. And remember to remove the link. So now that I've removed that link, I should go back to the site. And that test page is gone. So that means I'm back on my main site. And now that it's done, it's really easy. We can just go ahead and kill off the instance. And now that we've deleted it, we're no longer paying for it. All right, and that's all there is to it. Hope this was helpful. Go ahead and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see me make in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.